Okay, bam, bam, explode. Use protect? Are you kidding me? Bro, what? Are you kidding? Pokemon is fun, but once you beat all the games, there's really nothing to do. But I thought of an interesting challenge to do today. Today we ask, is it possible to beat Pokemon Emerald only using Explosion? The rules are, we can only use Explosion to damage Pokemon, we can't use items in battle, we put level caps on all of our Pokemon, and we can use stat lowering moves. Explosion is a unique 250 base power, 100 accuracy move, but it causes your Pokemon to faint. It's a really cheeky move that kills a lot of Pokemon in Nuzlocke. Only certain Pokemon can learn it, but I'm going to put Explosion on all the Pokemon regardless of what they are. So we start with Torchic with Explosion. We start the game, make it through Old Dale Town so we can battle May. We catch Booma the Poochiana so we can win battles. And this is how most of the battles are gonna go. The first battle with May. We use Torchic against Mudkip and use Explosion and we win. <laughs> So yeah, that's how most of the battles are gonna go. She even gives us a compliment on her battling skills. So we catch a Zigzagoon, blow up trainers, catch a low toad, and make our way to Petalburg City, where we meet her dad that so happens to be a gym leader. Then we gotta watch this dude named Wally catch his first Pokemon ever, and the first ball he ever throws, like a G. Then we have this creepy dude with glasses run into us while we're trying to leave, and we make our way through Petalburg Woods. We then run into this hip hop enthusiast that wanted to battle us, but then he instantly regrets it because we just blow his Pokemon up. And he didn't expect our Pokemon to have explosion. This guy gives me a great ball for helping him not get robbed, and I don't think it was worth it. He gave us a great ball that costed $8 as a reward. Anyways, we make it out of the woods and we make it to one of the biggest parts of the game, double battles. Very cool mechanic that I've always loved in Pokemon, but in this game, they make you play the hell out of double battles. Since we have explosion, we have to blow up everyone on the field to win, but that costs two Pokemon to do, which is very problematic. Anyways, we make it to Rustboro City so we can take on Roxanne. So we start the battle and this was going to be a giant hassle because her team resists Explosion. So we start the battle and use Explosion on Booma. We take out Geodude in one hit. Then we switch to Zigzagoon. We use Tail Whip on Geodude because this Geodude is stronger. Take a Rock Tomb. Then we try to switch to Torchic trying to preserve Zigzagoon. We take out Geodude with Torchic and we get a crit with Zigzagoon, but it doesn't go down. And now we lose the battle because we have to have one Pokemon remaining in order to win the battle. So here we go against Roxanne one more time. We start with Torchic, explode Geodude and kill it. Swap the Zigzagoon, Tail Whip the Geodude and take a Rock Tomb. Then switch to Booma, explode, take out Geodude and on Nose Pass, Tail Whip twice. Then we get knocked out as we Tail Whip. So we try again and again and again and again and it becomes obvious that we have to change our game plan. So I decided to get a Tail Whip thinking that it would be easier to win if we had two Pokemon that had Stab Explosion on my team. And we try Roxanne again. We start with Explosion on Tortic, knock out the first Geodude, then we switch to Booma, use Explosion on a second Geodude, instantly taking that Pokemon out. And with Tello, he has a bigger attack stat than Zigzagoon, so he was able to take out Nosepass out in one hit, gaining us the first badge. Sheesh, trust me boys, it picks up from here. Roxanne then tells us to go to hell. On our way to the city, the guy who almost got robbed sees me and tells me that he got bullied again. So we have to help him get his stuff back. Then this old man told me that his Pokemon got stolen by the same guy. So we had to cancel this menace by making him lose in a Pokemon battle. We battle the guy and explode on him. And he gave the stuff back and we saved the man's bird. And the old man said I can come back to his house whenever I wanted to see him. We find out we just helped some super rich dude and he gave us a freaking phone for free. And he said that he'll pay our phone bill every month. So that's pretty cool. We leave and this guy wants me to use the phone, but even though I didn't want to, we blow up May's Pokemon again. We then take on that old man's offer to go to his house. We take a ride on his cool ass yacht and he takes me to Do Forge City. We deliver this letter that we got for Steven to Steven. Then we take on the second badge. We use Tortic Explode on his Machop, switch to Booma Explode Meditate, and then use Zigzagoon's Explosion to take out Makuhita. And just like that, we get the second badge. It 
surprisingly wasn't that hard this time. We then get on the boat again to take a ride to Slateport City. We land on this beach to talk to this dude in this factory, and then we visit the Slateport Museum to relax a bit. But when I went upstairs, the hip hop enthusiasts wanted to battle me again, so I had to explode on their Pokemon again. Anyways, we leave Slateport City, meet Professor Birch, and he warns us that May wants to beat our ass. We then have to do this double battle, and this is what I'm talking about. Literally, if I didn't have five Pokemon, because they have two sets of Pokemon, I would just instantly lose the battle. But on our way to the next town, Torchic evolves, Boomy evolves, and Zigzagoon evolves now. And now, May is in her way, and she said she wants to kick her butt. So, we have to battle her. We explode Lombre with Combustion, take him out, explode Marshomp with Booma, and explode that Pokemon with Lanoon and won the battle. She's not kicking my butt anytime soon. We make our way to Mobile City and we see Wally and he wants to battle and become the very best. But we explode on his routes and ruin all the ambition that he had and this creepy guy with glasses said that I did him dirty. But yeah, he's not gonna show up in the story anytime soon. We then take on the third badge. Watson beat me to the punch and exploded on my Kabushkin. But we survive with 6 HP, he then sends out Electrike, but we swap the Booma because we know he has quick attack. We explode and get rid of Electrike. Magnetron comes out on Lanoon. We Tell Whip, survive the shockwave with only 26 HP and explode. It goes down, we swap the Lombre on Monetric and explode for the win. We won, but I lost a couple of times because it's just easy for us to lose. Anyways, we climb this mountain and fight all these Team Magma grunts and go against Maxi. We blow up his Mighty Ina, Zubat, and camera up in the span of four seconds and win the fight. Then this other dude in blue came up to me right after the battle. And right here, I gotta say, Pokemon Emerald is the most confusing Pokemon game to beat and the progression makes zero sense. But now we go down this mountain, we're in Lava Ridge Town and we can take on the fourth gym. We start with Combusken explode on Flannery's Numel, use Booma to explode her sl Slugma, use Lanoon to explode Camerupt, and use Swallow to explode her last Pokemon, and we get the fourth badge, just like that. Then it gets weird. We have to double back all the way back to Petalburg City so we can fight our dad for the fifth gym. We use Explosion on Combustion to take out a Spinda and Booma to explode a Slacking that comes out, but he survives the explosion. But we can then finish him with Lanoon. We switch to Swallow to blow up his Vigoroth. And now, with only one Pokemon left to use, we switch to Lombre, survive a headbutt, and don't get flinched and win the fifth badge. And his dad is surprised that his 10 year old son that just got his Pokemon a couple hours ago is better than him, even though he's been a Pokemon trainer for 20 plus years. And I'm not shocked. Explosion is a pretty strong move. We then get the HM Surf from Wally's dad. Then we gotta go through this very complicated marshland to go to the next town that's in the middle of nowhere. But on the way, we had to save these scientists that we weren't really worried about. Yeah, the plot of this game makes no sense. But I do gotta say, it's one of the most iconic Pokemon games out. We then have to fight Mei, we blow up her Lombre, then her Slugma, then her Marsh Stomp, and then she gives me the HM Fly, and tells me that I should fly to go see my mom for some reason. And yet again, this weird dude with glasses is here even though he lives on the other side of the country. We make it to Fort Tree City, and it's literally a tree town. We make it through there to meet Steven, and he gives us the scope so we can see invisible Pokemon. We go on top of this graveyard so we can save these old people from being bullied for no reason. Then make it back to Fortree City so we can take on the 6th gym. And yeah, there's a lot of double battles in this gym, it's, it's really ridiculous, but we had to catch a Machop to teach it substitute so we can get through the double battles. Now we take on the 6th gym leader. We start with Explosion on her Swablu and then explode her Tropius. Then her Pelipper used Protect when we sent out Boomy. And just like that, we lost the battle. We can lose battles easily. Now, we gotta try again. We explode our Swablu, then Skarmory comes out and dodges my explosion from Bam Bam. So we have to try again again. <laughs> this time we blow up her Swablu, switch to Boomy, then waste a turn on her Pelipper when he uses Protect. Then we explode the Pelipper, the Tropius with Boomy, then explode the Skarmory with Booma, and finish the battle with Explosion with Boome for the badge. The game then wants us to go to Mount Chimney and scale down the mountain and all of a sudden this hole opens up in the wall. Like bro, how is anyone going to know that, that that's going to happen when you do that? Like 
It literally makes zero sense. We meet Maxi and he tries to awaken Groudon using a blue orb and bruh. We need to get on this dude's head right now. Don't get me wrong, this is a legendary prophecy that you're following, but you gotta be dumb as a bag of bricks to actually think that the blue orb would revive a red Pokemon. That literally makes zero sense. Especially when there's a blue orb for a blue legendary Pokemon that you know already exists. While we were talking, we just beat this dude's whole team. Now we gotta go back to Slateport City and there's the scientist for some reason showing off some submarine that gets stolen. And how would I possibly know that this is happening here? Why would I go back to Slateport City? This literally makes zero sense. If I didn't have a guide, I, I would just be stuck. We then go to this dude's base that's in the middle of nowhere. Beat this guy that clearly has a submarine, then tells me to go some, to some random spot in the ocean to find him. But before we do that, we take on the seventh badge. Solve this complicated ass puzzle so we can beat the twins. And this gym is a double battle, which is a cool ass mechanic, but for the battle, we have to start with Boom Ba Boom, the Blaziken, yeah, we changed his name, and Boome. So since they have two rock type Pokemon, we try dodging their explosion so we can have more damaging power, but we don't dodge our explosion. So we take out Claydol and Zatu, but we knock out both of our Pokemon in the process. We swap the Boonie and Booma as their Lunatoon and Soul Rock comes out. We tell with both of them with Booma and explode with Boomy. We take out Lunatoon and Booma, but Soul Rock hangs on. This means I lose the battle, but this is why we have Bam Bam on the team now. We use a turn to use substitute with Bam Bam, but we take a psychic and survive. We're able to get the substitute off still, and next turn we're able to take out Soul Rock with our explosion and survive with Bam Bam and win the battle. Yeah, that was pretty complicated and intense, but we get the seventh badge. We then have to go to this random building and these three team magma grunts try taking me on all at once, so we take them out. Then we have to do a double battle with Steven. We start with Boom Da Boom and just explode and take out both of their Pokemon. But this is a 6v6, but we can only choose three of our Pokemon. So this means we can't explode all of our Pokemon. We have to do something to survive with at least one Pokemon left. So when Boomay comes out, we explode again and now we're left with Bam Bam. I then see the last Pokemon are physical attackers. So we use Substitute and Spam Bulk Up to survive any attack that comes at us. Steven Skarmory takes out the remaining Pokemon and lucky. We were able to win the battle and Steven invited me to his house so he can give us a reward for giving him support. So we go to his house and he dives down on us immediately. Meaning he gives us the HM for dive. We then have to dive in this random location in the middle of the ocean to make it to Archie's hideout. Solve all these complicated puzzles that make no sense and finally meet Archie and witness him do the second dumbest thing that a person can do. He used the red orb on a blue legendary Pokemon. Then chaos strikes, a catastrophe begins and and a little 10 year old has to find his way to an underwater city, witness these two legendary Pokemon boxing, magically know where Rayquaza is, the third legendary Pokemon, and convince Rayquaza to stop them from fighting. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense at all, but we make it to the eighth gen leader. Yay. We fight Juan, we explode Love Disk, then his Celio, then his Wishcash, then his Krogdon, then his Kingdra comes out in double teams, but we manage to hit him for the win. And finally, we can attempt the Elite Four. But not after 60 minutes of trying to find this waterfall, destroying Wally's confidence in becoming the very best, two hours of trying to find our way out of this dark cave, and finally, we make it to the first member of the Elite Four. We blow up Mighty Ina, switch to Bome, blow up Absol, switch to Buma, blow up Shiftery, blow up, switch to Buma, blow up Cacturn, and use Bam Bam to blow up Cronaut for the win. Finally, this game is so long, it's ridiculous. The second member took me 35 attempts and it got to the point where she started laughing in my face. I'm gonna show you the attempt where I won, but all of her Pokemon are ghost types. So we had to use Foresight to explode on her Pokemon and she uses Protect on her Pokemon also. So we have to stall and hope that she doesn't protect when we explode. We explode Dusclops with Bomba Bomb. Then we use Balme to take out our Bayonet. We use Boom Boom to explode the Sableye. And for her final Dusclops, we use Lanoon to explode on her for the win. Then we had to redo all the battle with only one Machop because we found out we needed Ludicolo 
for the champion that we're gonna go against. But we're gonna only go through the first ones of this because this is very complicated and it took a very long time. For the third member, we blow up her Cilio, then her Glalie, then her second Cilio, then her second Glalie, finally her Walren for the win. And that was pretty easy. Finally, we got to take on Drake. And we instantly have to reset because the Shogun used Protect on the first turn. So we reset and then substitute on the first turn. Then we explode Shogun. Then we explode Salamence, Altaria, Kingdra, and Flygon for the final member. Now the champion is left. And like I said before, we had to go through all the members again and get Ludicolo to this point because he has six Pokemon we have to beat, which means one of his Pokemon has to struggle to death in order for us to win. So now we take on the champion. We start and explode Wellorb with Bam Bam, explode Tentacruel with Boombay, explode his Ludicolo, and we intimidate it with Booma because we're gonna stall it to death and get its attack super low. We used our Ludicolo's leftovers and kept swapping on over and 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 over until he struggled to death. Then Gyarados came out and we exploded with Booma. And when the Melodic came out, we exploded him for the win. And boom, we just proved that it's possible to beat Pokemon Emerald only using Explosion. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe for my pain and suffering because it takes a lot to do these videos and I appreciate it very much. If you like this type of content, watch this video. Thank you.